so for a while now I've been uh, meaning to hardwire my Varix system rather than using the remote control because I, I mean look I've already got two key fob remotes on my key ring because I've got two cars one for the wife one for myself and just having another remote control on uh, my key ring is just a bit bulky so been, it's just been floating around the car but I've been meaning to do this for so long but then the other day my the, the remote stopped working so I think the battery's gone flat but I thought, well, okay, now's a good time to actually do this. So I went down to uh, J Car and picked up a momentary rocker switch, a 2A1, for $7. So it's probably about the same price as replacing the battery anyway. Basically, I think this is such an easy job that I'm actually doing it in my lunch break at work. So with really basic tools. So I found a good location, I think, for this button. It's easy to get to, but it's a little bit out of the way, so I won't accidentally bump it. And yeah, I, th I think it's within the answer. It's just in the center console here. So, I've already cut a hole as you can see, I just cut that with a stamping knife, like I said, I'm, I'm just using basic tools today, so I'm not at home, and I'm just in my lunch break at work. So I'm just going to fit that in there, just going to start chopping into some of these wires. So basically out of the controller you've got four wires, two are from the cigarette lighter, and two are going straight to the actuator to control the butterfly clip. So, um, basically simple rewiring of it to the, the toggle switch will, will get the job done. Okay, so I've got it all wired up now. Basically, I've run um, the power from the cigarette lighter because I mean this this control unit was actually powered off the cigarette lighter anyway. So I know it's got to have sufficient power. And the fuse is going to cope with that. So see, I'll point, point this down a bit. See now, I've got the uh, basically just reverse polarity. Um, so there's a lot of wiring diagrams on, uh, online on how to do this with a T rocker switch. You can you see? I'll just uh, I'll start the car up and you'll see that it's working and uh, they're all good.